Welcome back to today's video. I've talked about a lot recently the Windows experience on the Steam Deck and how that affects playing, you know, games and stuff. And I thought for a second, how does this realistically impact the emulation experience? How does that affect performance, ease of installation, things of that nature? And due to a recent development in Steam Deck Windows emulation scene, I figured this would be a great time to discuss it. The most recent thing that had come out that made me really think about this video has been the release of EmuDeck for Windows. Some of you might be saying it's been out for a while. Well, technically it was available, but through their like Patreon and you would have to like pay to use it. They actually now have like an official like Windows version beta available for everyone to download. So while it's not a perfect experience, it did come out recently for most people to use it. And if any of you really do a lot of emulation on your Steam Deck in SteamOS, you might be familiar with EmuDeck because it's the easiest and simplest way to jumpstart your emulation experience with having to, without having to download all the emulators and stuff, BIOSes, all that stuff separately. This just comes all nicely packaged together and you don't need to do all the configuring. It just auto does it, it puts itself into Steam. It's simple, it's clean and overall a great experience and i wish i could say the same about the windows version it was a little bit of a buggy experience and i had to give it a lot of permissions and uh change my dns because it was not happy with what i currently had it was a whole thing it's very much beta software and so to bear that in mind if you go on to try to do this on your steam deck at least for those of you who installed Windows on your Steam Deck. Though it does have support for all, you know, the other Windows-based handhelds, the Ally, the Legion Go, a bunch of iNeo devices, One X Player, all of the devices are usable. Even a generalized installation for insert name Windows-based handheld. It's very interesting to see how they have their whole thing configured. So after I got this all installed and set up, bear in mind this isn't a tutorial, this is just me discussing my experience with it. After I got that installed, I had a fairly easy time uploading and directing the directories for where I keep my games, and I was able to start playing. And the gaming performance for emulation on the Steam Deck was surprising and also unsurprising. Basically, everything Intel, you know, N64, PS2 era stuff, what ran just fine, like non-distinguishable between Windows and Linux. So basically, I didn't just really have any discernible way to measure it, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It felt exactly the same, and running those games, it felt great on both systems, and both operating systems rather, and I didn't perceive a noticeable decrease or increase in latency, frame rate, it ran perfectly fine. But when it came to certain games, especially on the GameCube, I noticed games like F-Zero GX, it actually ran a little bit better on SteamOS. I don't know if it has, it has something to do with having less overhead, or any of those difficult to run games on GameCube, I noticed I had a little bit better of an experience on the SteamOS side of things. And I'm gonna say that was a bit of a you know relief because I was worried that I wasn't gonna find any difference. But finding this weird maybe potential overhead issue on the Windows side of things, just the value of SteamOS being you know a lighter operating system, did allow certain games to run a little bit better, especially those demanding games like that Star Wars game I can't remember the name of uh, F Zero GX. Even Melee I noticed a little bit of an increase on the SteamOS version versus playing it on Windows. Next thing I tested was Wii games because they use the same emulator and I didn't notice a, any real difference in terms of performance. I was kind of expecting a difference considering the problems I noticed with certain games on GameCube, but at least with the games I tested, I didn't really see a noticeable difference between the SteamOS versions and the Windows versions, so that's good, but I was kind of hoping for a bit more of a difference, but hey! It's nice to know that it, there is no difference, so good for that, I guess. Moving on to a more difficult to run system, the next game console I tested was Nintendo Switch. And for this console, I was kind of hoping the Windows version would have had an increased performance, 
due to the you know the speed in which uh, and age of the you know development for the Switch emulators on Windows have been. And unfortunately, I did notice a significant decrease in performance, at least on Windows on my system, that I was rather disappointed. Switch emulation ran a lot better on SteamOS. And I believe it had something to do with the fact that Windows has so many other background processes and just one of the main downsides of you know, running Windows on these kinds of devices, there's a quite a bit of overhead just due to the nature of how Windows is. And that isn't a necessarily a problem on SteamOS. And with its lighter and easier to run nature, it allowed, you know, that little bit of extra performance that wasn't being used by the operating system to be used by the emulator. And allowing those games to run at a sufficient FPS and at a correct speed. I wouldn't say that it was unplayable by any means on the Windows version, but it was a noticeable decrease and it definitely did change the kinds of games you were able to play. Like for example, I was able to play Mario Wonder just fine, but Tears of the Kingdom was a bit iffy. And it wasn't to say that it ran all that horribly, it just did not run as good as it did in SteamOS. And it's playable, but it's just, you see some slowdown. It's not, it's like a little bit worse than playing it on an actual Nintendo Switch. Like, it's it's hard to describe because it's not that large of a performance gap, but it is a noticeable decrease, but it isn't to say that it's like an unplayable amount worse, you know? And that's just to say that there is a lot of differences in terms of performance that are like minute background details and stuff like that when it comes to the differences in emulation between the two operating systems. But moving on to the overall experience, setting up emulators on each device. It's a fairly, you know, easy experience on the Steam Deck to install uh, Emu Deck and all that stuff on SteamOS. But on Windows, until recently, it was a bit of a bore because you would have to install each emulator separately and configure them separately, it would be a whole, you know, ordeal to constantly having to manage all these things separately. But thanks to the recent developments in Emudeck finally releasing a Windows beta available to everyone, it is so convenient to have that available on Windows. And while it's not a perfect thing quite yet, it is helping the experience tremendously. Comparing that to SteamOS, it is a much worse experience in terms of the setup process and certain core functionalities of the whole, you know, MU deck on Windows is still in development. And just overall, SteamOS is much more ahead of, you know, Windows on Steam Deck in terms of how emulation and emulators all work. So that's something to bear in mind, especially if you're considering switching to Windows. Though I considered, you know, when I switched to Windows, that I, that is worth the sacrifice for all the extra benefits Windows comes with. But for those of you out there who are considering the switch for maybe increased emulation performance, I would stay away because you're only sacrificing realistically switching to Windows if that's all you care about. And the whole setup process is much worse and the overall performance in certain games is noticeably worse but i wouldn't say it's game breakingly worse so if you're considering switching to windows for other reasons you just bear in mind that you will be sacrificing a little bit but it wouldn't be a markedly worse experience it's not like you're absolutely unplayable it's just certain games might run a little bit worse and just bear that in mind so what do you think about this you know uh have you installed emulators on your Steam Deck when it has Windows installed? Did you notice a difference in performance or did you stick to SteamOS and haven't really noticed? Or did you make the switch and then switch back and did you feel the difference? I'd love to hear your thoughts, questions, comments, and concerns down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. All the other social media garbage down below. And last but not least, have a wonderful day.